Hi, I'm Christopher John Farley, a senior editor with The Wall Street Journal. I'm here with Sanjay Patel. He's the director of the new Disney Pixar short, Sanjay Super Team. I'm also here with Nicole Grindle, who is a producer of the short. Thanks a lot for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Tell me about the story, the story that's within this story that really caught up Pixar and got people saying, we want to support this. So I definitely had something that I wanted to say and talk about. I definitely had a story that I wanted to tell. Um, and the story was about, you know, somebody, I, I'd, always, I'd always miss seeing somebody like, that looked like my parents, that looked like me growing up in the cartoons that I watched when I was a kid or the shows that I watched. And so, you know, I just felt like once I started discovering my roots and really started appreciating them, I just felt like, oh, man, there's such cool stuff here that I wanted to, like, tell my friends about. And it's about a young boy who sort of uh, is entranced with the TV. And in that same room, we see his father, who is going through a meditation prayer ceremony, yeah. um, who's Hindu. And there's kind of a push-pull between the culture of technology and the culture of religion. And this was inspired by your own background, correct? Definitely. I, I definitely sat there next to my dad for like 12 years every day, twice a day. You know, I, I, I told John Lasseter that, you know, every morning, my dad would uh, pray to his gods in his shrine, and I would pray to mine in my shrine, which was, you know, ironically, the TV and the cartoon superheroes that I worshipped. Now, you also, I've also heard you say that, you know, you were, you were of course, um, raised in California. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, your, your, your father and your parents came from, from India, mm -hmm. but you grew up not liking Hindu culture. In fact, you said you hated Hindu culture. Where did that come from, and how did you overcome it? So... Um, you know, I think for any kid of an immigrant, like, I, I'll speak for myself here, I just wanted to fit in. And uh, fitting in meant, like, I just wanted to get rid of my weird name and my parents with the weird traditions and the funny background. And, you know, I just, I was really kind of, I was just embarrassed and just felt kind of ashamed of being different. And it just took a long time to, you know, finally discover myself as an artist and finding some identity there. And then it, take, it took even longer to find the artwork and the inspiration from my parents' culture. And once I did, that just felt like all the dots connected. And then suddenly, what I discovered with my parents' culture helped me understand who exactly my parents were. And suddenly, I was just immensely proud of their culture and where they were from and what, they, what was important to them. And it suddenly sort of completed me. And I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it just suddenly felt like I found some sort of version of home, and it was through appreciating my parents and as well as like loving all the stuff that I grew up with here in the States. Now, Nicole, you produced this film. What drew you to working on it and to the subject matter? Well, I mean, to be truthful, we were put together by happenstance. Uh, I was available and he was available, mm -hmm. and we worked together in the same studio for 20 years and never worked closely together. Um, but I really took to this theme and this story and to working with Sanjay uh, intensely. It's been a really um, gratifying project. And I think, you know, Sanjay and I have talked about this. I, I'm really interested in, in issues of inclusion. I've been doing a lot of things with women in the studio. And um, I also have been working in this industry for a long time. And I like new stories and things that are different. And it wasn't just me. Everybody in the studio embraced this, this story because it was new. We learned so much about Hindu culture. We brought in a, an expert on South Asian dance. And we learned about that. And so it was exciting to be exploring a whole new theme, a whole new world with everybody else in the studio. Now let's talk about inclusion, because I've always found it fascinating that Pixar's put out 15 feature films. Not one yet has had a person of color as a main protagonist. Mm -hmm. um, with this short, is this the beginning of things changing at Pixar, or is this something uh, we reach new global audiences, new audiences here in America with this film, do you think? Oh, I absolutely think we will. I think that there already we've learned that there are a lot of people who've seen the film who identify with the story and these characters, and not necessarily people from South Asia. You know, anybody who's a child of an immigrant is going to relate to this, this story. And that's really exciting. Uh, I would say that the studio has always told stories that are drawn out of the artists who are working there. And as we have recognized the need to bring in more voices, I think we will in the future start hearing more from different people. But it's always been about the storyteller and the artist. And, and that's why Sanjay was brought in to do his show. Let's also talk about success, because Pixar's you know, put out 15 features. Every one of those 15 has been a box office hit. Everyone except arguably Cars 2 has gotten critical acclaim. Mm -hmm. Is there some secret um, at Pixar that helps uh, 
nurture creativity and successful feature films that other studios just don't know? I mean, tell me about something that goes on to the secret sauce there at Pixar. <laughs> well, I, I want to know. Well, I, I want to know this. <laughs> well, I don't think it's been a secret. I mean, we've always said it's about the artist and the storytelling first and foremost. And I think that's what's worked for us. I don't think we approach it so much as a business. We approach it as, as an art form and a storytelling. And so John Laster has always said, you know, if we find a person who's passionate about their story, they're going to tell a compelling story that will connect with audiences and that's the secret. <laughs> now Sanjay do you see this short you've been at Pixar for a while but do you see this short as sort of an audition to do a longer feature are you satisfied with doing a shorter how did you see this as part of your career development? <laughs> you know I never saw it as career development it really just felt like kind of personal growth artistic growth and um, I don't think uh, I never saw it as something that was going to help me climb a ladder or to sort of get to the next step. It just felt like, gosh, I was just so excited about giving people just a small appetizer of what another culture was like, what, was, what are some of the experiences that an immigrant might go through, and just and really getting into the specifics of that. And it just seemed like if we could just open a door to kids and adults to maybe look at these stories and philosophies, I just felt like that was so exciting to introduce it to people. Now, most people have to wait to see the short for when they go see The Good Dinosaur later in the year, but your father has really gotten a chance to see the film. And can you tell me a bit about some of the reaction he had to seeing you embrace some of his Hindu culture in animation? All right, that's a good question, Mr. Chris. <laughs> so, you know, while we were working at the short at Pixar, you know, everybody would always ask me, they're like, hey, what does your father think of this? You must be, you know, must be so proud. And it was so hard for me to explain to people that, you know, number one, I'd been at Pixar for almost 20 years now. You know, my dad has never seen a Pixar film. He's never seen any of the films that I've worked on. And um, it was really challenging to explain. Like, I, I had to ask my dad, I'm like, Dad, what was the last movie you saw? And he was saying that it was something with Julie Andrews. It turns out it was like the he sound of great music. great taste. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it, it was the last movie it saw was uh, The Sound of Music. Uh -huh. And so um, we were, I just didn't know how he would respond to animation, let alone animation that was inspired by history between him and me. And so when we brought him up, you know, he watched the film and, you know, he, he was super emotional about it. And, you know, he turned around and he just said, you know, he kind of reflected back to me and Nicole that it was like, yeah, it's a father and son. They look into each other's eyes and they figure out a way to compromise. And I just, I really loved his reflection on that. Well, Sanjay, uh, Nicole, thanks for coming to the Wall Street Journal. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's thank you.